Hello, my name is Esther. I am from victorialandfarms.com. I am so glad you're here. Anyways, um, today I am taking you through, step by step, how to paint an antique sofa with Annie Sloan paint. You can kind of see it here. Anyways, um, if you're interested to see how I do that, stay tuned. This is the antique sofa that I will be working on. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace for $50. It has the right fabric that I was looking for and it's got the Victorian look. I'm gonna turn it into something rustic. It's going to turn out gorgeous. So the things I'm gonna use for this part project is the old white that I used for the table and chairs if you haven't seen that. Um, you can check that out that YouTube video for the fabric. I'm going to use Paris Gray to apply paint to the uh, fabric. I'm using the medium size Annie Sloan paintbrush. And to, um, I this is a paintbrush I've been using for my table and chairs that I did. But anyway, I'm, that's why the plastic's on top. But I'm using this paintbrush for the wood. And then after I'm all done painting, I'm going to apply clear wax. And then I'm going to use Annie Sloan's wax paintbrush. All right, let's get started. So when you are painting um, fabric, you can't just paint any kind of fabric with Annie Sloan chalk paint. What you're looking for is a smooth type of fabric. I love antique fabric because it just is so soft after you're done painting it. So that's what you're looking for when you are wanting to paint fabric with Annie Sloan paint. Okay, so this is how you measure your paint um, so that you can paint fabric. It um, has a formula to it. So I have my um, Paris gray paint that's already been stirred, and my old white that's been stirred, and I have some water, and I'm gonna show you how to measure it out. So I'm using this bucket um, for painting the fabric, and I'm going to um, dilute this Paris gray down to a lighter color, so I'm gonna add the old white. So I have other um, chairs that I've painted with Paris Gray and I don't want it to be matchy matchy. So anyway, this is how I do it. All right, so I have a half a cup measuring spoon. Okay, and so I'm going to put half a cup, one cup, One and a half cups. Two cups. So if you notice, I have plastic down because I am a messy painter. I'm terrible. So anyway, and then, uh, so that was two cups, right? So I'm gonna add one cup of the old white. half a cup and then there's one cup so there's a total of three cups of paint in here so now you want to stir it all together okay so now on to measuring the water so you want to do half paint and half water so let's add that so we have three cups so one and a half so half a cup one cup and another half so one and a half cups of water 
then we're gonna take that and we're stirring it. Okay, I'm actually gonna show you up close how I do this. So hold on just a moment. So you can see it's kind of watery. You really want to stir this. And you can stir this in between when you're using it. Look at that magnet. <laughs> and look at, you like my stir stick? It's my kitchen knife. I know. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. You just need to keep stirring. See how the underneath is still some paint under there. So anyway. Just keep doing that until it's good and blended. Well, I am not going to tape this wood. I am going to just go ahead and paint the fabric. And if a little bit of the paint gets on here, that's okay, because I'm painting this um, the old white. And so anyway, I just thought you should know that. Okay, so one of the very first things you need to do when you are um, painting <clears throat> fabric, wipe it down of any debris or dirt because this was something I, that was used and I don't know where it's been so it felt good to just clean that off. For this first thing you want to do is take your water and you want to spray the area that you are about ready to paint. You want to really douse it. So only do each section if you want it to be really wet because if you did the whole couch, it would be dry by the time you get to that point. So just do the area you're going to paint. And if you see, I'm really getting this really wet. And then you're wanting to keep your, like I'm using my knife or stir stick, but you want to keep something in there, just keep stirring the paint as you go along as the water comes to the top. Okay, so I'm going to have this down below. It's okay if there's drips. And it's okay if you get it on the list. But you see how it's automatically already changing color. Don't worry, what you see here will eventually um, be gone. You won't see the pattern anymore. So you want to put the um, brush inside. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing this for the whole couch. Okay, so I am out of paint from the first layer that I'm doing on the sofa. So I'm gonna make another batch just how I put it together earlier in the video. So anyway. This is the sofa with the first coat. You can kind of see the pattern showing through. I actually think it's pretty cool.
Here's the back. I really like that faded floral look on the back, so I'm kind of leaving it like that. Now on to um, the second layer of Annie Sloan paint on my fabric sofa. So For the second coat, you don't have to spray the fabric with water. You can just take the paint and put it straight on the fabric. So I've put two coats of paint on the fabric and I'm just gonna do not really a thorough third coat like I've been doing for one and two, but I'm actually going to um, just do a light touch up where I see any of the pattern showing through. Anyways, I'm letting the pattern kind of show in the back. I kind of like that it has a vintage look to it. But anyway, in the front, I'm really trying to get the pattern smoothed out so you can't see that. Anyway, yes, so that's what I'm doing next. All right, since I'm not caring about getting paint on the wood. I'm actually just taking this brush and do you see how I'm just, see that little piece of that fabric in there, just kind of gouge the paintbrush in there. Looks like I need a little more paint. So I have some of my old white left of this Annie Sloan paint. Um, I'm going to paint all the wood. I know, this is the part that's really hard for a lot of people, is painting this old wood, but here I go. I know this is probably really hard for a lot of you to watch. Oh my goodness. But I love what it looks like when it's all done. You guys can tell me at the end if you ended up liking this project or not. Hopefully you guys like it too. I'm taking a small brush and any white that got onto the gray fabric, I'm fine tuning it and cleaning it up 
with the brush and I'm really getting in there so that it has a nice clean finish. So here is the 100 grit sandpaper that I'm using. Anyway, I'm going over the fabric really lightly with the sandpaper. All the crusty um, paint, I am rubbing it until it's soft. You can run your hand across the fabric and feel the softness come through. So I just keep doing this and I run my hand over the fabric as I sand, making sure that I'm getting all the crusty paint off. This is my favorite part of the project. I am taking a really rough sandpaper. It's a 60 grit and I am running it over the wood and I am thinking about how it would be worn out in areas. I'm giving this a rustic, shabby chic look, like here in the arms, you know, like normally what would be the wear and tear on that. Um, I'm thinking about that and here I just love the way when I'm rubbing this over the top of this, how it's bringing out the design of the flowers on this wood. It looks so amazing. You just want to keep rubbing over it, um, getting the raised areas and exposing the wood underneath. So now I'm vacuuming and I'm wiping down, getting ready to put the clear wax on. So here's the clear wax. And so I'm going over the wood and the fabric with this wax. This is what seals the fabric and seals the wood. It is actually a necessary part of this project. This is um, what gives it a soft patina when it's done. It's like leather, only it's really soft. It's something that you would never imagine painted fabric to feel like. But it, it all has to do with the kind of fabric that you paint. And this one's actually turning out really amazing. I think that it feels really nice. Yeah, what a thing, huh? So I'm continuing to put the wax on the sofa and then I will show you what it looks like in just a little bit. It took about two full days for it to dry. Here it is, all finished. I think it looks amazing. What do you guys think? I love how the colors go with my home. And it has that rustic Victorian look that I've been going for. It's actually really comfortable to sit on. I'm showing you up close the details. From when I sanded. I don't know, I just think that is so amazing how it looks. Are you guys still overwhelmed that I painted an antique piece of furniture? I hope not. One of the final things I did was I took a wet cloth and I wiped down the entire sofa to wipe down any dust left over. Anyways, I hope that you guys really like this project. I think it turned out so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. But anyways, thanks for watching and you guys have a great week and see you next time. Bye for now.